Well, mystery. Thank you, Shannon. Yeah. Meantime, scientists around the world have been working to replenish coral reefs through lab-grown marine life, but this faces its own set of challenges. Scripps News correspondent Alexa Liaco explains how biodegradable straws might be part of the solution. Deep under the water in South Florida, scientists are working to restore coral reefs. They've been growing new coral inside of a lab and then transplanting it into the ocean. But the problem is there are some hungry fish getting in the way. Meet the parrotfish. They resemble actual parrots with their beak-like mouths and bright colors. In some of the pictures, it even looks like they're smiling at you. But let's not let them steal the show the way they've been stealing coral. Hungry parrotfish have brought down survival rates of lab-grown coral to 40%. So the main thing that we've been working on is increasing that survival rate and allowing corals to get established and escape that window of increased interest from the parrotfish. And we've done that by developing a just physical barrier um, that prevents parrotfish from biting on the coral. That barrier is made up of biodegradable straws. It cages in the coral without causing any harm to parrotfish. There's no special thing about the way they're colored or they smell or the way they feel. Um, it's just the parrotfish can't get through them and then when they realize that they leave the coral alone. Researchers say this has boosted survival rates of transplanted coral to more than 90 percent. While this idea of building a coral cage is simple, it's a technique that could help scientists around the world. I think there are a lot of people in the coral world that are excited for us and glad to see their solution. We're all a community rooting for each other and I, I, I think there's a lot of excitement about this project. Alexa Liaco, Scripps News.